In this video, I will show you how to configure single page settings. From your dashboard, go to Pages and click on All Pages. Let's open one of the pages from here. Let's open the Refund and Returns Policy page. We will demonstrate the single page settings for this page. Click on Customize to access the customizer settings. From under Posts and Pages, click on Pages. The first option is Page Title. You can either disable or you can enable it. Upon enabling the page title, you have more options. Click on the arrow here. You can enable or disable the breadcrumb. You can select horizontal alignment across different devices. Then you can also set the bottom spacing. Next, you can select the sidebar layout. You can either go for the left sidebar. You can select full width layout. Or you can also go for the full width center layout. Next, you can also select the page layout from three options. You can go for boxed, content boxed, earn boxed. You can also enable the stretch layout option which will stretch the container width to the end of the screen. Next, you can also select the content area vertical spacing. You can go for top and bottom, only top, only bottom or disable it. Next, you can also configure the page elements. You can either disable or you can enable the featured image. Then you will also activate more features. Just click on the arrow. Then you can select the image ratio. Click here. You can either go for original. You can select predefined. You can also reverse the image with the help of reverse option or you can also customize your image. Let's go for original. You can also select the image size from the range of options that are available here. Then you can also select image visibility across several devices. Next, you can also enable or disable to show comment section on your page. Just enable it and the comment section will be enabled. Under design, you can select your content area background across different devices. Click on the color option then you can select the color of your choice. You can select gray, you can select blue, or you can select any other color of your choice. Then you can also set the content area shadow, area padding, as well as area border radius. After you are done, click on Publish. Now apart from the global settings, you also get individual settings to customize your single pages. Let's see how we can do that. Go back to Pages. We will edit the same page, so click on Edit. On the top right hand side, click on Rishi Page Settings. Here you will find Customization option for your single page. 
The options and settings you select from here will only be applied to this particular page. For the rest of the pages, the global settings will be applied. You will find options like selecting the page title. If you click on the inherit option, it will inherit all of the settings from customizer. If you click on custom, then you can customize the page title for this particular page. You have options like enabling or disabling the breadcrumb, selecting the horizontal alignment, as well as setting the bottom spacing. Or you can simply disable the page title. If you select this option and click on update, let's view the page once again on our front end. This particular page will not display the title anymore. Let's enable our page title. Now under page structure, again, you can select different layout options and whatever layout you select will only be applied to this particular page. Under design, you can select content area background, area shadow area padding, as well as area border radius. Then you can also customize the content area style source. Again, if you select inherit, it will inherit the global settings from the customizer. If you click on custom, you can individually customize the content area style for this particular page. You can enable or disable the stretch layout as well as configure the content area vertical spacing by clicking on the custom option. Then you can also configure the page elements like enabling or disabling the featured image, enabling or disabling the comments, then you can also enable or disable the header as well as the footer. So if you enable both options and click on update. Let's go back to the same page right now. The header as well as the footer is being displayed for this page. Now give it a refresh. And the header as well as the footer is not displayed for this page anymore. In this way, you can easily customize an individual page as per your choice. You don't have to be confined within the global settings. You can easily configure the page as per your wish and you can change the look and feel of each of the pages within your website completely. So that was it about how to configure single page settings. If you have any questions, confusions or queries, you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link in the description box below. You simply have to create a support ticket and submit it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.